blessed with all blessing. My beloved, the Lord's beloved, here I am in the last birth pains with you. Soon that will be accomplished. I send you a greeting to all of you in all the places of the world, to that precious beloved that has grown, that has been strengthened in the word, that is already edified, like Jesus of Nazareth said over in Matthew 16 when he said, I will edify my church. It wasn't Peter or the disciples. He said it, I, I, in my second veil of the man Christ Jesus, that church has already been edified. Thank you to all the collaborators that the spirit, you have been docile to the spirit of grace to let yourself be used in so many multiform ways be it in the collaboration of the beloved be it in a concert like yesterday's that was so beautiful all the artists from all different places cooperating in your different ways it is an honor to greet you i feel more than proud of all of you i have a biblical verse from paul in the second letter to timothy it says for i am already being poured out as a drink offering and the time of my departure is at hand paul is talking there that he felt that his function as an apostle was reaching an end and he said it very clearly i know i will die being sacrificed i will be persecuted it will not be an easy death like the one of jesus of nazareth now he also said i have fought the good fight i have finished the race i have kept the faith finally there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness which the lord the righteous judge will give to me on that day and not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Well, that crown of righteousness of Paul started in 1973 when this servant started recognizing the gospel given to him, the gospel of uncircumcision. Actually, in the whole world, no one has preached that gospel. Because with that gospel, he does not receive the crown of righteousness with the gospel of circumcision. Now, with the gospel of uncircumcision preached clearly how this servant has done, then Paul received his crown of righteousness. Well, I also can say on this day that I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. And then there is a feeling, an apostolic feeling. He knew that he, everything had ended. Grace is not something that you can preach for years and tens of years and tens of years like the system has done and not reach an end and reach an application. And not reach a conclusion I started preaching grace in 1973 and I preached and I preached and I preached and the gift that was in me was being manifested but there came a time when you cannot keep preaching because the race was finished I cannot fake a tracing the tracings come to me now there came a time when I felt obligated to do the tracing and there I understood you 
cannot continue preaching. The time has come. Enter into a countdown. The church, the beloved, is prepared for that final event. So then, that's the conclusion. We had a beginning, we had a development, and we have reached a conclusion that the grace has edified his beloved worldwide. And you that are listening to me, you are very privileged that you have been chosen on this hour to give testimony to the nations of what it means to have a transformed body living in a perverse generation. They will see. You will give yourself the luxury. You have suffered, but you will give yourself the luxury of walking among them with a glorified body. And that is a great glory. As the government is formed, as what is called a government with an iron rod is manifested, a government of justice, a government where we will govern everything with a perfect order. So then, this is my last farewell for you. The time has finished. Blessed with all blessing. A greeting for all of you, my beloved Liz, on this day. We will see each other soon in Armageddon.